We're learning more tonight about a described murder squad in Salinas. A now unsealed federal indictment shows a group of gang members are behind a series of orchestrated shootings in Salinas from January 2017 to late 2018. A U.S. prosecutor announced today the men were on the hunt for rival gang members, but as you just heard, their victims were largely innocent. Thanks for being here at 11 o'clock. I'm Aaron Groff. Local and federal authorities say this group terrorized the streets of Salinas for about two years. The charges were announced today, but the suspects, most of them are already in jail for other accused crimes, but now all of them are in custody. These suspected gang members indicted by the U.S. Attorney's Office are Siaki Tavale, Anelu Tavale, Andrew Alvarado, John Magat, Anthony Valdez, Mark Anthony Garcia, all of them between the ages of 23 and 33. And they're all being charged with racketeering, conspiracy, murder, and other crimes. This map shows where each of the seven shootings took place. They're said to have operated in a caravan and filed every bullet in their weapon. KIO's Josh Cristianto is live for us in Salinas tonight. Josh, you spoke with a local murder victim's advocate. So what does she say this all means? Well, that's right, Aaron. For Debbie Aguilar, who's a Salinas resident who actually became a victim's advocate after losing her son and nephew to gun violence years ago, today's news gives her hope that justice will be done. They're all gunshot. All of these guys here are, were killed by, by guns. Debbie Aguilar lost her son to gun violence almost 18 years ago in Salinas. It was 2002. Her son, Stefan Joseph Aguilar, just turned 18 and was getting snacks at a 7-Eleven on a Friday night. A vehicle with unknown passengers opened fire, killing him. The culprits are still at large. While Aguilar hasn't seen justice yet for her own family, she is thankful justice is here for others. I know what it's like to feel that you don't know who did this and wait for that phone call that somebody will finally, the police, somebody will say, you know what, we're not sure yet but we may have something. Since her son's murder, Aguilar has become an advocate for families who face the same thing she's faced. Murder victims spanning decades now plastered onto commemorative papers remembering those lost to violence. Aguilar says many of these listed were not gang affiliated. Authorities say the victims of the murder squad announced Thursday were mistakenly identified as rival gang members. For the families, it could be a day they've been waiting for. I'm sure what they're feeling is, is Wow, maybe the pain is, is finally, it's lessening a little bit today. The victims, John Rodzak, Fidencio Torres Vega, Rutilio Vega, Felix Alonso Francisco, Jose Luis Flores Vargas, Alejandro Ramirez, Gabriel Hernandez Rangel, and Sergio Carcamo may see some justice now. And perhaps that will provide some closure for those they left behind, even if the wounds never fully heal. My spirit was so unrested before. But I want those families to know, all the families of the community, the victim, they lost loved ones to homicide. Let's keep our hope up and keep our faith up. And just knowing that justice doesn't always fail us. And local authorities say, and local authorities say, none of this could have been possible without their partnerships with state and federal uh, law enforcement agencies. Reporting live in Salinas, Josh Cristianto, KIO News Channel 546.